Stand by. Three. Two. One. One. War. 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 What happens when four dudes get together to break down everything that is awesome in the world? The podcast world will never be the same. Because we're changing the game. Eric Went, Jeremy Holt, Ryan Mathias, and Kyle Christians are men in a tub. Broadcasting live every Thursday night at 10 p.m. Central and on your iTunes every week. Welcome to the Tubcast. The water's just fine. when four dudes get together to break down everything that is awesome in the world the podcast, podcast world will never be the same because we're changing the game eric went jeremy holt ryan mathias and kyle christians are men in a tub broadcasting live every thursday night at 10 p.m central and on your itunes every week welcome to the Tubcast. the water's just fine when four dudes get together to break down everything that is awesome in the world the podcast, podcast world will never be the same because we're changing the game eric went jeremy holt ryan mathias and kyle christians are men in a tub broadcasting live every thursday night at 10 p.m central and on your itunes every week welcome to the Tubcast. the water's just fine when four dudes get together to break down everything that is awesome in the world the podcast, podcast world will never be the same because we're changing the game eric went jeremy holt ryan mathias and kyle christians are men in a tub broadcasting live every thursday night at 10 p.m central and on your itunes every week welcome to the Tubcast. the water's just fine
presents The Tubcast Oh boy! Hey! Are you excited? I'm excited. Yes, I sure. Just, I mean, everyone's just waiting with bated breath. They're excited. <gasps> And I'm going to use the word excited too much. I'm just going to keep saying the word excited. You're super excited. excited. I'm, I'm excited. Say excited. Mm. Excite. Because oh. we're excited because Exciting. we're on Twitch. And the excitement is palpable. It's excitable. It's, it's super, look how excited Nathan is. Nathan's exciting. <laughs> I had bated breath. <laughs> <laughs> did it make you feel dangerous. sick? It, it made me feel like I wanted to breathe. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, we have... Risen to the occasion. Yes. Uh, this is a Tubcast. My name is Eric, the hostess with the mostest, joined by Kyle. Hey. Uh, the one guy, Jeremy. Yeah. And that's then, me. Uh, and then the guy at the end, it's Nathan. According to rumor. According to legend, Nathan. You know, I never have checked your driver's license to see if that's actually your name. Puppy. Puppy. Puppy's back. Uh oh. <laughs> Puppy. <laughs> No, no, get out of the court. Not the get power the, strip. Not the power strip. Not the power strip, puppy. Bad puppy. No, don't. Luna. Hi, Luna. Who's a good Luna? Uh, so the puppy's here. That's good. Hey, oh, he oh, wants his Kyle. Wants, oh. He loves his Kyle. Oh, there goes the headset. Oh, I thought, yeah. Luna's I thought a the lady. headsets were going. Hey, Luna. Yeah, dogs are boys and cats are girls, Nathan. Yeah, Nathan. That's how anatomy and science works. <laughs> science. Everyone believes that. <laughs> Mm. That's uh, that that th- does throw a wrench in the whole reproductive cycle. No, it doesn't. It's just that when one of them does something with the other, then they kiss, they kiss each other. They get puppies and kittens. That's how it works. That's how it works. Science, Nathan. Science. No, you know science. That's that's what we're that's what we're here aren't for. You, is science. You're a man of science, aren't you? You don't even understand how puppies all, and kittens all men are born. Are men of science. I'm sorry, I haven't invited science into my heart yet. Yeah, well, well what is get wrong on with that? You? Mm-hmm. Get on it. Okay. Get get on science. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey Luna, your mommy's here. Uh, no, <laughs> no, that way. No, that way. Bad Luna. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But anyway, yes, we have pets in the studio. It's yeah. fun. You have to have studio pets because the internet needs happiness needs in their to, life. Needs to know about them. Yes, Luna, I love you, but you need to go. <laughs> mm-hmm. Go. Does someone have some bacon? Could we? Lure? Oh, there's a cookie. There's, there's a, a cookie, cookie for Luna. for Luna. Luna, get the cookie. Go get the cookie. Get a cookie, Luna. Get the cookie, Luna. Don't there's you a, love this? There's a cookie. This there. Is, oh, there. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Luna got Good a job. Great job tonight, guys. We did we did exceptional we, taking care of that. We vanquished the puppy from the studio uh, with some help. Did we vanquish it or vanish it? Both. Both. Yes. Or Jinx. We, or varnish. Eric owes me a Coke. Yeah, I didn't owe you nothing. Um, yeah, Kyle, stop asking for handouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's a hand up. Mm-hmm. Did we? I think we lost our chat. Yeah, we did. I went political, didn't I? Kuipers. I'm not you, sure. You fix the I don't chat? know what that. T- Never yeah. Mind. Something is broken. Something fix not it. work. Uh, well, it's uh, it's another lovely day to be in in the bathtub with other men and their mm-hmm. always is soggy parts. Thank uh, you, night. <laughs> So, nice. welcome to the Tubcast. And that's weird and gross. Why'd I say that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sorry. You, you just... <laughs> I, I body feel, parts, you know? Uh, <laughs> J. Oliver says, first ever cute dog-talking episode. Dog-talking it for the next 50 minutes. Uh, so... Yeah, soggy parts, not pants. I don't know. Anyways, uh, what's everybody been up to? What have you been living? What What's Ugh. the truth in your life right now? Do you, what's do you keeping, really, really want to know? What's keeping you woke? You know, you, you really got to stay know? woke. Uh, I mean, I, I don't. When you ask it that way, I don't. No, I don't. Really I want it to know. be known. But when you say, do you really want to know? I say. That I am a man no. of the fans. Yeah, I really don't I, either. I, I want it to be known that I am a man of the fans. What? Because Teddy has been harassing us. About what? For at least a week, maybe more, about a s- stupid TV show. Yeah, why are you bringing this up now? We've because I watched it. Why'd you watch it without me? Oh. 
thought we were going to stream we were gonna it. We were going to stream it. That's what we said, but I guess you don't have to. I you know. I figured I don't, that we, was you don't a, have to follow the rules. I figured I was, that was completely. I don't empty. even remember what show. Okay, I fine. figured that was a completely empty. No, statement. it's fine. Hawaii I'm just Five O is that the Spit show? Spit it out, Kyle. You loved no. it. You oh. loved the no. No, I did. Was it Knight Rider? No, it was the no, it was Young that, Sheldon young from Sheldon. the Big Bang Theory, the oh. spinoff. We oh, talked about this. Like, was it Las Vegas? It was Las Vegas. Cool. Yeah. Did you like it? No. No, it was weird. Like it was like they tried to put a completely different TV show in that world with a very young version of that character. Like I think if, that's if it, what they were going that's for. That's exactly what? what it is. Good no, but, explanation, Kyle. No, but what yeah, I'm no, what I'm saying hit, is I think like, that's actually like the marketing description that I think they send the up. Premise. Yeah, I think that's how it works. No, but what I what I mean is like if you're gonna if you're gonna do a prequel to something, it should feel like it's in the same world. There's no studio audience laugh track. There's none of oh, the that stuff that makes sounds it sounds like it's in its favor. Well, that's that's what I'm like. It's it's weird. It doesn't feel like it belongs with it. It actually felt like it was a show that could have a lot of heart, uh, but it ruins it by having older Sheldon narrate over it. It just it makes it feel. Was like it, it trying to be the Wonder Years and yeah, failing? Yeah, it made it the Sheldon Years. It made itself feel like it was trying to be two different things at once, and it just. I have fond memories of the Wonder Years. I don't know. Uh, right. I didn't like it. All right, here's what's going to happen. In like season three, Sheldon's going to discover the studio audience, and that's where they originated. The thing is, he that's seems... He, during that, during that, he now, still that's seemed that's at least a, a hair more like he had a little more social awareness and personality than his character did so you're saying you know, the, 20 years later. You're saying the, the child is a bad actor. No, I'm I'm th- I th- I'm I mean, sure it, that he's written that way. It is a kid actor. Way. You realize that, right? I understand that. I'm not saying that he's uh, a bad actor. I'm saying that he was. It, I think it was written that way, and it just seems like a terrible premise to try and pigeonhole a kid into something where you know where he's going to end up as hey, somebody that's just not, not funny great and not funny. Hey, yeah. Eric, hmm. I'm kind of glad that Kyle watched it. Why? No, we don't have to, right? I mean, I guess, yeah. I right? took I took a bullet for the, the team. Thing. Teddy says it was horrible. I hated it, but at least I watched it. Unlike Rick, 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 W R I C, Rick. Uh huh. That's a great way to spell Rick. Um, Rick. So the kid basically. This is more Teddy. The kid basically acted outlandish, like his part in Fuller House, which just made him annoying. Oh. So. I haven't watched Fuller House. Don't. It's so good. It's really good. Yeah, yeah it's so good. You won't. Every other television show will be ruined for no, you. My my daughter, yeah. my daughter absolutely loves it, but she's a. My wife loves it, but I guess I mean she probably loves it because your daughter loves it. Yeah, I'm going I think with so. That one. I think that's why. I don't know for sure. I mean, sure. sometimes I love I, shows because I get the opportunity family. to watch them with. My yeah, children, it's a family you know? thing. It's yeah. a family affair. I kind of have. I've. I like have absorbed it through osmosis because it'll be on in the background, so I feel like I. I know what's going on, but my kids are watching every single episode of. Uh, friends, Narcos. and I think th- oh. my that's really and, and I think they said, um, I think they said um, they're on their fifth round of the entire series. Series of friends, friends, yeah, that's really inappropriate for their age. I'm just gonna you say, really, you think so? Really yeah, really yeah. Really there's a lot, of, there's a lot of sex talk, yeah, yeah but they hear that at school. Oh, and but they don't hear it here where it's family friendly, that's right, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> unless we're talking about soggy parts. Hey, I don't watch it with them. Uh, they watch it. You're just, well, they watch it with I them. Never liked, they watch it I never them. really liked it. I didn't care for Friends it was much. It dumb. I people, know. people quote it incessantly, it and I just go, oh boy, I should. I don't know what you're... I know you're quoting something from this Friends TV show, and I'm supposed to laugh and think it's funny, uh, but, but, I, but feel I, like, I don't. I feel like I feel like that was a show that was a character... Like, it was... It was popular because of how long it ran and because it was on. I mean, they made I don't fun think of the fat was... chick who becomes skinny. That's yeah, so there's a cool. there, it's... And then the one who's kind of loose, right? I mean, Rachel is I, most of I, them. And then, I'm well, not yeah, a gynecologist. I wouldn't know. Well, with her morals. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. That's what that means. I thought it meant like gets no. around. That's what no. that means. No, I'm with Eric on this one. <laughs> yeah, I think you're I don't think you just say that she's loose and then go with her morals. Like if you <laughs> add with morals, then that works. Okay. But I don't think you can just yeah. say someone's. I think you so- can. 
I mean, maybe you, maybe in the era you're from, yeah, 1955. I mean, uh, go a whole other generation back. <laughs> if, we're, if we're talking about the, if we're talking about the other kind of loose, that would be either Joey or Phoebe. I know way too much about Friends lore, <laughs> but you don't enjoy the actual show. I did once upon a time. Oh, okay, you do. Okay, sorry. I think I it's. I think that uh, it was a, a product of of just its time, like that. It was something that was around for so long, but it wasn't something that holds up the same way that, like, even Seinfeld does. It it does have one of the top ten like theme songs. I'll give it that. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. Your job's a joke, you're broke, your love life's DOA. It's like you're always stuck in second gear. When it hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your year, but I'll be there for you. When the rain starts to fall, I'll be there. Be there for Hold you. Your ear. It makes you sound more Because I'm there for for you, for you too, oh. too. I'll be. None of us had the same I'll, key. I'll be there. We were all in a different hey, key. Hey, Kyle. Don't, Kyle, don't, it's payday tomorrow. Count. Hey, it's payday tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just sorry. I saw your yeah. alert pop My up. My alert popped up. I get paid tomorrow. Kyle's yeah. paying for uh, lunch gas. No. no. <laughs> Uh, Teddy says copyright. I know we were so pitch perfect. Yeah, it it's probably... gonna it's gonna think we were the real deal. <laughs> it's gonna get flagged. Wait, I am very good at making instrument sounds. Wait, we we were pitch perfect. Mm-hmm. We're a tone? movie series starring Anna Kendrick and Ooh, you know all those you other. Suck. Yeah, those other People. ladies. <laughs> that was good timing. That was a good timing. Yeah. Oh. I got Na- I zinged Nathan real good there. Zing. Nathan, does it hurt in your soul and your heart? I mean your heart because. <laughs> I, I, acknowledge, some, I acknowledge the zing. Should we go find some cups for you, Nathan? That makes zero sense to me. Because I was, Someone I was boo playing Kyle. off his terrible boo, boo, pun. Kyle. Boo, I know. You Thank you. I think you deserve that, Kyle. I deserve... Uh, yes, I deserve it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, I think I get it. Oh, boy. I still don't get it. I'm yeah, still Yeah, I don't really care. Anna Kendrick actually. had, like, a song that was on I the don't radio explain for it. years. Please stop please, explaining it. Please, no. That was called Cups. So, did anybody watch the Red the Dead? Cup song. I know we're not supposed to talk about video games, but the Red Dead Redemption trailer. Yes. Was, uh, I watched oh, it. video game! I like that Trevor's not here so I can poop yeah, on it. Yeah, because he would have, like, the hype train <laughs> I already. I can totally mm-hmm. poop on it a bunch. You don't. You I mean, it's like going it? to be a game. I looked that at... That is also accurate. I watched it, and I was like... I, I'm excited to play the game. It's fine. I just yeah. like, I did not like that main character at all. Like when they showed he it to me, I was like, no. when he walked down the street, it looked really bad. And, and the whole well, graphics just, looked well, horrible. The graphics there. looked incredible. Yeah, not but, when he was walking down the street, it looked weird. But I anyway. don't know about that. I guess he, I didn't. He see looked that. and the water looked. He janky. looked less like a character that I want to. Marston become. was just so good that like this guy's voice and the way his he, he was seems dressed, annoying. He I looks like, like he's like. About to die. I was like, he's the, old. Does Rockstar not get what we West. liked about that game? Like, no. I don't. I, I feel like Rockstar slowly just becoming completely. Di- I felt it in five with the commentary on the radio and stuff like that. I feel like they just are like, I don't know. They're just becoming disjointed from society now. Like it was kind of like, ooh, that's really good commentary on American culture before, but now right. it's just like, oh, you guys are kind of missing the mark. Yeah. Uh, so the whole like. <clears throat> Like I was just bummed because I thought maybe they were gonna sh- talk about the features of the game or like they didn't is it gonna anything. have an online? All it was was a t- story trailer, and, and no so, no date. Yeah, and I was anyway. just like, <laughs> but you can pre-order. Yeah, of course. You but can. Anyway. you don't know if it's gonna be rated teen. Oh, it's gonna be rated teen. Uh, I just, when I said that it was rating pending. I'm like, why? Why do you even have to do that? Just put the M on it. Wait, if it's rating so. pending, how can just you pre-order if you're underage and you pre-order? Then they take it away from you. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, I, I don't have a clue. I don't know how it works. Uh, uh, Teddy says, that's the most wishy-washy response ever. Well, that game is going to be a game. That's a very... Another, another quick... That's a true statement. Are we going to keep talking about it? Cause it's Go gonna, quick, sure. Another quick thing. Uh, COD WW2. Wait, I thought you were oh, sorry. Oh, what? No, I'm, just, I'm transitioning. We don't need to talk about that thing what? anymore. It, he, you opened the floodgates, and he's going Nobody back. Nobody cares to, about a beat. Jeremy's PC stuck beta. in the loop. Uh, fine, I was just saying. It's, Jeremy's this stuck in the loop. Only, and we didn't talk about it last night. Why did you put that in there, Jeremy? Because we didn't talk about it last night. There's a, well, call, a Call of Duty beta again. Yay, there's like, go download there's it. There's been like 12 of them, so enjoy <laughs> another one. Uh, <laughs> Shame. Jeremy, I'm sorry. Dang, dang, I, we love dang, you. You dang. added special information, and I made it seem like it wasn't you special. You're not validating me enough. I'm sorry. 
I, it's, it is good Jer- to know Jeremy, that. Jeremy, you, you've done a good job. You did good. You let the people You've done a good job, Jeremy. Applause. Applause. Let's, Everyone, a round of applause. Let's do what we were put on the internet to do. <laughs> Fart. <laughs> Not that, no. I have no. done that. He broke Kuipers. Read the news. Read the news. We're, that's we're, we're supposed we're to read the news, that's Kuipers. What that's that's what he was trying to say. Oh, yeah, that's what, yeah. It's time for the only news stories worth talking about. All right, here's our first story coming to you hot from the Guardian. Dot com. Uh, it says, I asked Tinder for my data. It sent me 800 pages of my deepest, darkest secrets. Ooh, Eric, I want to know why you have 800 pages worth of Tinder. Only 800 pages. Uh, I mean... Of data. No, uh, this, uh, this I mean, I uh, woman didn't. from The Guardian uh, requested the information, and apparently she's had tons of conversations with people. And there is an insane amount of information that they have. It's, it's, it was kind of embarrassing that she was willing to admit. I'm just impressed that, that they, they they sent they sent it to her. I'm they have to. Of, it's they in have the to EU it's, and oh, it's required. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm, it's under yeah, their any, data protection law. Any internet go uh, any, any internet business has to submit 100% of your data if you ask for it that they hold. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. I would just do but that to annoy them. Absolutely. Yeah. They said, I mean, she said that basically it's something that knew her almost to a T because of how much information it gets from even just like just asking you about your different preferences on things, asking about things that you're interested in. Um, it, it also said that there was some um, information that it, it sounded like it pulled from other apps as well. So it, it's just an insane amount of information that it had. And, and I mean, it, on top of that, then she can go through and see all the different messages that she had sent to people and, and everything else. But, man. What's the dark secrets, though? I don't know. She didn't really get into it. I mean, she said uh, at one point, she said, reading through the 1,700 Tinder messages I've sent since 2013. That's embarrassing. Well, and the other the other part, before you say it's embarrassing, I mean, she did say, as a typical millennial, uh, constantly glued to my phone, virtual life is merged with real life, and that that's how people meet people. I yeah, think there's a no, lot I more... I get it. I'm too old. <laughs> yeah, I, I, think that, I think that there's something to be said that People that are definitely mid twenties and younger are probably meeting more people on Tinder, just becoming friends with them mm-hmm. when nothing sparks or anything, um, and and just how they connect with people in general, um, which would be why there's you know up to seventeen hundred Tinder messages that they had sent. That uh, she said, I I took a trip into my hopes, fears, sexual preferences, and deepest secrets. Tinder knows me so well, it knows the real inglorious version of me who copy-pasted the same joke to match 567, 568, and 569, who exchanged compulsively with 16 different people simultaneously one New Year's Day and then ghosted 16 of them. Um, So, I mean, does Tinder, is it just a scientific proof that the idea of that special someone is is just a fault a, a fraud like it's just a lie like it's just it doesn't because if you think about it oh, do do you want our opinion on if it is <laughs> yeah sure i want to finish talking Wait, okay it, yeah yeah let him let, let him me finish my thought i was wondering where you're going with it go ahead i'm just saying like it feels like you, with tinder you connect to you have the potential of connecting to so many more people than you would otherwise like when like when any of us, well, at least me and Jeremy specifically, I think when we, we would have been dating, there would we would have never had the opportunity to meet that many people at least this quickly. Uh, yeah, and so all wh- Vista just wasn't the yeah. best yeah. way to. Uh huh. Yeah, your do geo ASL. your geo cities yeah. profile wasn't think, hitting as many. I, yeah, I mean, you tried you ASL me all the time, too. but I yeah, I guess I don't know how uh, when because I mean, yeah. I was I was out of college and everything by the time this app showed yeah. up. I was out. I, was, I mean, like like. Three or four years, 2013. Yeah. Man, I was 22 by the time but I had a cell But I guess I'm just saying, like, the idea of, like, because, I mean, it's a romanticized idea that there's the one for you. Sure. And, I, and I'm and i just like, like, oh, you're going to meet the one. And with this, like, I feel like, does it does it kind of prove that maybe there isn't 
the one. Like it's it's about maybe circumstance and more about situational. I, I'm not trying to like de-romanticize love and and say it's it's a farce, but I'm just saying that if you if You're we saying there could be many different paths that yeah, one like it could just go it down. just because I think as <laughs> as people we tend to we were always lived in a smaller box, and so with this it broadens that that. Gene pool? The gene pool, sure. Right. I mean, it broadens that selection so much that it's like, oh, uh, it just, I don't know, it just makes it so, I don't know, it's in my head, it just makes it so much more scientific. Like, I'm just going through all these people and trying them out, and I'm like, I don't like this one, I don't like that one, I, this one isn't quite right for me, and this one, where maybe, and I'm not saying we settled, that people settled, but it's just like, were you more willing to overlook certain things because you're like, I think I'm what in you the, had available. Yeah, yeah. Is that a thing or is it just, oh, it's true love. So this is, this is why, you know, and I'm not, I'm not asking us for personal, like, oh, uh, the, I picked my, you know, my wife because of this or whatever. I'm just I saying, don't know if you, I mean, I, I have an I, opinion on it, I guess. I well, mean, okay, but don't get all weird and gross and personal with it, but give us yeah. an opinion. I don't want some like cheesy yeah. love story because I'm going to barf on you. So just give me And that means that he'll barf on my computer, so I don't want that to happen. <laughs> no, no, Kyle, no, uh, Kyle, he'll have an excellent arc. <laughs> yeah, It'll miss okay. you completely. <laughs> oh, okay. I think, I, I, think the, I think the concept of one person in this world for you is uh, a farce until you make the decision that that's the one person for you. Bada yeah. Bang. Well, yeah, so, sure. Okay. So, yeah, there is one person for you, but not until you decide and they agree, yeah. meaning they decide as well, <laughs> right. that you're each the one person for each other. And if that doesn't happen, then there's many people for you. There are other because, potential ones. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's like when Kevin Costner stopped returning my uh, letters, I finally sought for my wife. Mm, see. Uh, that was a that was a <laughs> way more agreeing I thought Ryan answer. Gosling was your one, but... <laughs> I mean, I, he, that's I, now, he wasn't really around. That's now yeah, though. Yeah, 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 I got you. Dances I mean, with winds. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. It was a very so... good movie. Mm-hmm. Anyway. There was a lot of white t-shirts and orange soda involved. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, given how, given that I know you married your wife at age 18, I'm very curious what you expected Kevin Costner to do with you before that point. Oh no, let's not go there. <laughs> oh, I, I just, I don't know, buffaloes. Uh, so, <laughs> but, so hairy. Uh, it, it involved taxidermy buffalo. So there's a, there, All righty. there's a, there's a, yeah, it's just an interesting thing. I mean. And I think you you kind of hit it on the head, Jeremy. I think I think the th- the idea of the one is much more about the individuals deciding that each other sure. is the one. But it, but I, I just I think so many times people get so hung up on that, like oh I don't know if this is the one that this could just feed into that paranoia tinder. I, oh, to yeah, me in my absolutely. mind, I feel like I'm like so worried that which like, one, which one, like, which one? Yeah. I'm meeting all these people, and like then you become so much. My- micro about it that are macro i don't know which is the correct term but you're just like well you know i didn't like the way she she did this or he did that so and if so i can like, find someone that's got these yeah, things and so, not that and since you know it's like this endless pool of people yeah you're kind of like well i'll just keep trying to keep trying to keep trying to keep, and you never try to develop a relationship with anybody beyond like the first or second date and it's so like, it turns so you like, into ted mosby <laughs> yes pretty much so that's you a, have no meaningful relationship anyway so you don't even know if they could have been yeah one of the ones. Well, and I, I mean, I think that's why they, on uh, Master of None, they did that episode where he went on like seven or eight different dates and it was all interspliced together. So you, it was like watching him go through one date mm-hmm. that was like the same with all these different women. Yeah. Because it was always the same thing that he like hits the same restaurant, hits the this, 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 and this. And then it's, I mean, it's, you're right. I think it's just becomes like this just formula that people do yeah. when, I, when I was dating or, or it, it can was, become that it was what am I willing to live initially it was what am I willing to live with and what do I think I can change about them I'm <laughs> so like, I'm really glad right? that the end of that word was vi because because you left it off with what am I willing to live and I was like is that going to end in ki? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, TP poker says I, may have been on my I don't like how her toenails smelled next <laughs> yeah. okay uh, do you you can fix that. I now, just want to now that Nathan one and Kuipers. Now you guys are the young single ones here in the room. Hello. Yeah. How, yeah. Uh, how how is has have you tried has Tinder? Tinder been a, good for you. And if you have tried Tinder B, has it worked or has it been good? Um, I or have, Match.com. <laughs> no, I have never been on Match.com. Okay. I have been on one Tinder date. We saw Inside Out. Okay. 
trying how'd to think of when that was. Okay. Yeah, how'd that go? It was fine. It was just one of those where it was like, where we were both like, you know, we don't really feel any spark here, so. Yeah. Best of luck to you. All right. And did, but, have, you, have you tried Tinder recently, or do you kind of given up on it? Fun story! Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I like fun stories. Let's hear it. My phone thinks it is currently installed, even though it's not, so it refuses to download it again. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, so you wanted to. Yep. But so you're, in, you're, in, you're trying to get that Tinder going. Maybe and we need just... to help him. Mm. That, well, wow. we haven't heard from Kuipers You should yet. get a new phone. Hey, Kuipers. Yeah? Uh, do you, I mean, feel free to use your new powers. But anyways, uh, oh, what, hey. have, yeah. you, have you tried out the Tinder? I have not. I have my actually my training manager, my current job, she was saying that like I swear if I find you on Tinder Kuipers, like she, she's like, going to be upset like with you. Like she was scared yeah. you were going to get like, matched. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> but, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> say again, what did she say? I forget what she said exactly, but it was something to like if I find you on Tinder Kuipers or if I find you on Tinder Nathan. I mean, but did but she say it I, like if I find you on Tinder, no, 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 no. she give me like that, that winky wink. Huh. wink that wink. was more like the scolding scold. It was, it was, oh, it was a veiled okay. threat. It was Dude, a scoldy that's... scold, not the winky wink. So okay. she was admitting exactly. she is, but so, you shouldn't I, be. So, so Kuipers, if you see her, left. <laughs> is that the Definite way left. Yeah. <laughs> is that Why not just pick on her a little bit? Is that the right... Just... Or yeah, is swipe that the left one that he is, likes? Swipe left is wrong. Is the one icky because it's like Democrats. Yeah, because it's not right. Because right. it's not right. <laughs> That's how Jeremy remembers. Let's, let's <laughs> tell him the right. opposite one. <laughs> and swipe right is good because it's Republican. I think of right or left-handed people. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, That's oh, really so left-handed, left-handed, right-handed people. You're left-handed normal. people are bad. No, there's just less of them in the world, mm-hmm. so they're not right. That That is correct. <laughs> they are not right. Because they're left. Okay. Hmm. Right, Kyle? It's, it's messed up what right. they used to do to left-handed people, though. Like, totally yeah. How they would like Absolutely. force them to use their right hand and Gosh. like, oh, um, savage. I've, I switched dominancies on uh, with my eyes twice. Well, I don't want to hear about it. Yeah, no. that's I weird. Don't, don't, <laughs> weird. Oh, your eyes. Oh, your eyes. I thought okay. you said wives. No. <laughs> uh, family friendly. Uh, Not Mormon. Uh, 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 so yeah. All right, let's go to the next story here. This next story comes from NPR.org. It says, flush with cash, Swiss, Swiss, Swiss toilets mysteriously stuffed with 500 euro bills. That went swish. Uh, yeah, there was a, a bunch of these 500 euro bills that are something that I think they're trying to phase out in general. Um, they've, they've taken a large chunk of them out and, and expect to take even more of them out of circulation in the next year. But they, they have found a ton of these stuffed in toilets and in Weird. the toilet pipes. Like tens been, of thousands. Yeah, tens not of... Not just yeah. hundreds of these. And they've, they've, been, uh, they've been cut up, so they're like... Not they're, usable. They're not usable, but they've, they were cut in such a way that they were still able to be identified. And, uh, they and said flushed that, down toilets. Yeah, they said that uh, they, there were uh, clogging toilets earlier this summer. No Where? one knows why. They said it's not something that's actually linked to a crime because it's not illegal to destroy banknotes in Switzerland. So it's just something that no one has any idea why someone is literally flushing money down the toilet. It's Some men so, uh, aren't so, looking for anything logical. <laughs> so here's Some an interesting piece about it, too. Watch the world burn. Thanks, they, Alfred. <laughs> You're welcome, Master Bruce. Go ahead, Jeremy. <laughs> Where is it at, you said? Switzerland. Sir. Switzerland. Switzerland, <laughs> Switzerland <laughs> is not part of the EU. Not name. Ew. Mm-mm. So Mm-mm. it's EU banknotes, and I think one of the locations was actually in a bank's bathroom. Yeah, right? it wasn't in a bank's bathroom. Um, they said that the EU destroying small quantities of euros is not a criminal act, although dr- destroying large quantities is prohibited. So what's the boundary line? <clears throat> what can small I get away or large. with? Large. Yeah. yeah. What what defines small and large? I think that's the point. Is that it's up for them to decide on a per case basis. Hmm. Hmm. So what I guess I, I'm just like I, I'm kind of curious of like what Well they're saying like, that they don't have just... any idea what, what this is, but why officials are saying that there has to be some kind of story behind Somebody it. Somebody's American find... money, that's like six hundred and fifty dollars per piece of paper. Sure, but why do they care that they're finding money in toilets? Like just take it and yay. You got no, I think it's, it's the, cut up. They can't use it. Oh, it's, it's cut, cut up. Yeah, it's, cut yeah, up. Yeah, it's unusable. 
Yeah. Uh, so and someone- it's clogging toilets, which means it's now it's costing those businesses money. So is it to in get public? It you said public restrooms or just yeah, in, okay. yeah. And so like, like one of them was in a bank, uh, oh. three nearby restaurants, pipes stuffed with five hundred dollars. So how much are we talking? Euro bills. How much are we talking in each toilet? Like like I, I don't know. It says that it's uh, that that they were clogged with tens of thousands of dollars worth of discarded Jeez. cash, which is costing more money <clears throat> to get fixed. So question: Do they did they have poo on them? Were they used as wipes? Maybe it's like somebody who's yeah. like, I you wipe know, like, my butt with muddy. <laughs> Monocles. <laughs> yes. I, I just love to wipe my butt oh, yes, with the money. Oh, yes, it is the best, isn't it? <laughs> the texture is amazing. And then they, they have a built-in shredder. <laughs> what was that toilet. voice? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yes, the texture is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> don't make fun of me. It was good, Jeremy. So it was rude. It was good. He wasn't making fun of you. He was just amplifying your voice. It was beautiful. You did a good job, actually. <clears throat> you. you're, you're much better. Alfred. Alfred's just got too much time. Well, on his hopefully hands. this mystery gets solved. One time when I was in Burma, and there was a thief who stole some rubies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shut up. I just, you know, I hope they discover it, and 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 then someone says this person's rich and wastes money. Rubies the size of tangerines. I were. think <clears throat> I'm wondering. I'm wondering if it's part of like a money laundering scheme, right? Oh, I but think it's more of a money how, plumbing scheme. Yeah, how is it? A, how is it money laundering if I you don't can't know. use it? I I'm gonna admit I don't know how money laundering really works. Really, well, money? Okay, money it's laundering is is a process of you take the money and you put it into something else. Yeah, and then that way it hides it from the government. You and you so effectively wash initial, the money so it's no longer dirty. But money. shredding it and putting it in the toilet does not work as because money you replace laundering. it in small quantities so yeah. that the money right. you have is so no you actually dirty. do understand it. I I. Technically, yes. Okay, I'm so saying I'm, I'm not sure how it would apply to real banknotes being destroyed. It doesn't. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't. Money laundering You're the one who said be, it did. Yeah. Money laundering is just a, a process of being able to to then use money that's gained by illegal means. Te- uh, Teddy asks, what if he ate the money and his body laundered the money into the <laughs> toilet? Oh, no. Deep thoughts with Mutiny Teddy. So we've got a money-eating monster on the loose in yeah. Switzerland that is oh, just money. eating all those European banknotes. Oh, yes, give me all the banknotes. <laughs> oh. So that is not a Swedish accent. <laughs> that's a German accent. Yeah, that's very German. <laughs> so it's a German Bordering person. on Austrian. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a uh, German-Austrian Austrian that is in sure. Switzerland who's... Dress is like the but it's okay monster. because they all speak English. Mm-hmm. I was imagining him in a leather hose. Mm, me too. Ah, uh, this next story can comes- help him help I him was get imagine- to the bathroom faster. No, it, it, if anything, it handles him. <laughs> I was imagining Die Hard. I don't know why, but because because feels- Bruce Willis yeah. is back in Die Hard Six. Anyway, that's not one of our stories, but no, that is actually true. Are you doing another one? Yeah. yeah oh, gosh, I hope it's better than the last one was. This next story comes from IFLScience.com. Calm. It's flipping science. Uh, it's the head, it's the head, science. The, the headline, those headlines say scientists uh, connect a human brain to the internet for the first time, and it overloads with kitten memes. That part I added. You added that part. I, added I was going to say, I didn't see that in this article at all. No. And it, it's a little confusing because it doesn't specify... I mean, I'm guessing that this was... A living brain that they connected it to, I not hope. the picture that we have that, showing. No, well, but that's a good that picture. one's that's that a, one's a that one's a picture that's, that's how they, from the, that's actually the from the laboratory. Kyle. That's from the oh, live live looking right now here. That's what um, it happened. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we've got a we've got a camera in there. It's a dead and brain, and it's somehow floating in midair. It's a dead brain because well, there's the no, brain it's was in, created it's in, in liquid. a test tube. When approached the brain for comment, uh, it simply said, "It's all right." Mm. So, okay. so yeah, these they are uh, they were trying to, according to this press release, the team of neuroscientists and engineers have used a, an ec- Ecuador ec- electroencephalogram, mm. a device yes. yeah, or an EEG for short. Mm-hmm. Yeah, every everyone does um, a device yeah, so that it detects the electrical. Pulses well, yeah, in detects the brain. electrical signals yeah. in the brain. Uh, to that. transmit neurological activity to a cheap Raspberry Pi computer. Uh, this then live streams the data to a program running on a website that anyone can view at any time. They, they said it's not quite what you may have imagined with this. It's essentially a technical window into someone's neural activity that's open to access. 
Um, but it is something that technically this brain has been connected to the worldwide so it's like, internet. It's like brain voyeurism. Yeah, they they said ultimately we're aiming to enable interactivity between the user and the brain so that they uh, so that the user can provide a stimulus and see the response. The the problem that it sounds like they're running into or that that they will potentially run into is the fact that computers are binary ones and zeros and such. Hmm. And that's not the way that the brain <coughs> works. Hmm. Uh, is the brain in read only mode? I mean, no, brains are. Oh, I mean, oh, no, you're it's, asking, it's in is, full full Java and no, you mean it's, all it's the full yeah, but but random access. But, full the, GIF. but the but the user permission set is such that they have no modify rights. Oh, okay, yeah. So uh, you so you couldn't hack into the brain and be like, swing your right arm. Yeah, you could eventually once they get brain hacking figured cool. out. Yeah, cool. I mean. There, that's when Skynet really will become I, a problem. I don't want to be that's the. That's not a Skynet thing. That's I don't, a the Matrix thing. I don't want to be a pioneer Maybe. in this technology, but I want to like utilize it after like all the people have died from it, and then they figured out why they died, and and then it works good. Uh, and then I'll yeah I'll try. Yeah, it. your phone will just be a chip. I feel like yeah. Just be like go to go to the Apple Store and be like, oh, could I get the yeah, latest get iPhone? New, and they just drill and a hole. Like, and... and then I'm just like, well, Eric, what are you doing? Uh, reading Ooh. Reddit, it'll be a push button flap with like a like a cartridge. You can just. I feel stick like once there. that happens, though, produ- productivity is going to go down across the world because everybody's you can fake your job. You can just be like Maybe. pretending to work and just like staring at something all day, watching mm-hmm. a movie. Oh uh, yeah, 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 Jim. I'm taking care of that invoice. I just, uh, I just, I'm not watching Netflix though. Mm-hmm. Not not turned on the the flicks in my brain. I definitely don't have Pirate Bay open, and that's I'm not a, yeah. streaming a current movie that's in the theaters. I'm uh, definitely not watching the twelfth season of Little Sheldon. Uh, <laughs> no, hun, I'm only thinking about you. <laughs> Sorry. So logical. Question, though, how logical are people end. actually going to take selfies with like with that chip phone? You just blink. You blink, yes. Yeah. You, you look in a, a mirror. You blink you in a mirror. You look in a mirror and you blink. I guess so. Uh-huh. That's interesting. Uh, okay, I think I look good here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. it knows to, to nope, wait. Nope, that was a bad one. Sa- that was a really blinked. bad one. Oh, no, I blinked. Hang on, I blinked. <laughs> just a second. Yeah, that's how it works, I think. <laughs> Oh, you, you, know, you just got to blink one eye and, and, and make sure that you got like that's called a the wink. angle. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah, you just wink, wink a selfie in. Uh, all right, we got another story from IFL Science. I don't know why this was so popular this week, but they just had all the good stories. Uh, researchers claim that boys are better at physics for the most ridiculous reason you've ever heard. If anyone knows any f- physics, uh, they can look at the picture and determine it. Uh, should we give them a second? Oh no? gosh, Jeremy, did you went you went Photoshop happy again? Didn't what you, you? What are you talking about? I like the fish I, last week. This week, you put, I you I put actually a inscribed on. on the marble uh, some physics. That equations. must have taken you hours. Mm. I don't like that this little boy statue's peeing on me. Yeah, I don't. Why? I, I feel like he's peeing directly on. Well. He's he's probably more directly he's peeing thinking. on the audience. It's like Plato. Than us. Mm, that's true. So you, everyone's getting yeah. So if you inscribed this formula on the marble, why is there a plus sign on the stream of water? Yeah, on the stream of pee. It's that yeah. good. So that's anyway. not how that works. Uh, it's clear. It's clear, Nathan. Yeah, that just they're hydrated. That just means he drank real well. Yeah, they're hydrated. Did anyone figure out what the what no? The, oh I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. I figured I'm it out. Tell actually. people this. Okay. They are they're saying this e is a equals ween squared. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Uh, Times educational supplement is is I believe the where the original article was where this research was produced that uh, boys might have an advantage over girls in physics classroom. Because they pee standing up, so uh, the I argument don't think that's a bad is that thing. men naturally gain insight into projectile motion, um, which is an important part of Newtonian mechanics, as well as not leaving stuff all over the seat. So wait, See, if Eric, you want, that's you where gr- the horizontal distance Shut up. and if velocity. You want, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't. I don't care about that. Uh, so if you, I just wanted to give a disclaimer real quick. If you want your daughters to be successful encourage them and potty train them to pee standing up yeah it's problem solved 
I mean, you'll Anyways. just have a lot more to clean up, probably. Nah, nah. I, I mean, maybe. Gonna, I'm not going to discuss how this works with you, Kyle. It's but really it does. It could work. Uh, anyways, they they. So what are they making people angry with this? Why? It's true. I don't know if people are angry, oh, but I mean, just, Jeremy says it's true. No, it is. We we all we understand things based on personal experience, and if we ha- if a guy has more personal experience with certain types of urination physics. Hmm. It makes sense that they would under- comprehend it faster. Oh, okay. It's experience based. It has nothing to do with. G- it's not gender bias or anything. When people apply gender biasism to something that's just reality, that's sad. Uh, Mutiny Teddy says, "So those who miss the bowl are genetically flawed. No, they're they're just uh, they're not good at physics. Not science scientists. Yeah, know. they couldn't cook meth in an RV very easily. Yeah, that's it's not physics. Yeah, yeah that's totally chemistry. Physics. It's physics. Science. It's physics. That is chemistry. Science. Is chemistry is the study of change. Science and physics is the study, study, study of, of P. And they're no. both science. So. Are you just saying physics is the study of P because it starts with a P? Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's yeah. because about how urine." It shoots into a bowl. It's the earliest that you learn anything about And you're physics. like, hey, if I stand three tiles away from the urinal, can I make it? Mm. What if I Do stand I... six tiles away? Physics. Did I hit the Cheerios? Physics. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's how math works. Um, there's this. And so, Del Jeremy, do you want to reveal bathrooms. your fancy equation? Yeah, what's people? the equation? Mm-hmm. No, I mean, there's just a few different ones. The left one has to do with... Wait, there are different uh, obvious, ones? I yeah, this was well, all no, one. This is, well, there's a lot of physics that go into peeing standing up. Let's be honest. One, you're dealing with gravity. You're dealing mm-hmm. with... Age, your prostate. Yeah. Okay. How much pressure there That's is. That's called thrust. So, uh, thrust. You're, you're de- velocity. Gotta have so you're thrust. Take Horizontal and vertical velocity. Pee. Water buoyancy. Yeah. Uh, the splash factor. This is high quality content. I mean, yes, there's just, a lot yes. of different angles. There's so many different angles. We should angles. really be making people pay for this on Patreon. This is so good. <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> Patreon. Uh, you know, physics are involved in a lot of things we do. I think yeah. this is kind of a... Maybe a silly example. I think of it is very men silly. Being better than women, but well, you know, it's we're, that we're, no, that's no, not it's not that better. they're that's better. Yeah, it just said we're based. better. I think I think that the the title's a little misleading because what they're saying is is that it, it gives them a slight advantage when it comes to experience and comprehending physics when when learning about it. It's there was not necessarily other, saying that they are better. There was other sites overall. that had much better titles than this one. I think they were going yeah, for sensation. They were going for the clickbait. Yeah, I was yeah. being, uh, you know, filling around. I was clickbaiting yeah. it yeah. for you all. Well, that's what we do here, warrior. right? I was just, I think, what? <laughs> Wait, I don't know. I'm a social justice warrior. Well, you know. oh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I've, I've always wanted to be. Gra- I want to graduate to that level, so that's cool. Do you? What are you now, a paladin? I mean, no. I, Jeremy just gave me so. No, he's a warlock. No, I said on this on this topic, you were trying to pull that. No, I was just. I just think it's kind of a silly thing because I mean, couldn't technically like if a girl ever took like, I don't know, like a a bottle of water with a spout on it and squeezed it. Yeah, but they're not she, doing it multiple times a day every day. Oh, I see. What you right. Mean. So, so it's, it's practice makes perfect in right. physics and that's essentially and what they're saying is it's not that it's not that a girl can't. Pee learn standing physics. Up. I mean, yeah, that's that's up to them. If they want to do it, go for it. This episode is brought to you by the Shiwi. Ordered on Amazon.com for nine ninety nine. It's great for camping and other fun activities outdoors where you know ladies don't have toilets on the floors. They're trying right. to eat breakfast. Next story comes from TheVerge.com. It says B.O.B.'s one million dollar flat earth conspiracy uh, satellite GoFundMe is a scam. That was really loud, uh, Jeremy. Yeah, I'm geez. Sorry, Holy I had cow. to throat. Did you have to do just it that hard? Try, turn around. Like, couldn't you just go? <clears throat> we're just <clears throat> we're just trying to be I more would explain professional this in here. a physics way for you. Yeah. We're just trying to be How professional. How much experience have you had clearing your throat? I mean, really. <laughs> Here. I think I can. I, uh, <laughs> that was pretty good, Kyle. That's that how, was that's how louder. It I know it sounded just like Jeremy's. Let me try. <laughs> All right, there, Nathan. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kuipers. Kuipers. It's your turn to clear your throat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm well, gonna be honest. Mine hurt. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, mine kind of did too, but I feel like we can go forward now with clear throats. Yeah. So clear throats, <clears throat> full <clears throat> lungs, can can't booze. All right. Um, so can bo- breathe. B- can speak clearly. Can speak. There you go. Can speak. Uh, so can speak. No, can. Can speak is when you put it in a can and save yeah. it for later. Yes. As opposed to free speak. You open I thought it up it was and it where talks you had to someone you. else write it in order to make like sure that you're public. So Bob the Rapper is still set on this earth being flat and yeah. he wants to raise a million dollars to put satellites in the sky to prove so, it. So Yeah, so it wasn't uh, it wasn't enough that he got into a Twitter fight with Neil deGrasse Tyson mm-hmm. um, or the fact that uh, Tyson's nephew had a competing diss track with B.O.B. over this issue. Uh, it's it's something that now he has taken it to a new level. He has got a GoFundMe campaign in which he is looking to raise a million dollars to launch one, if not multiple, satellites into space towards the goal of finding the curve. Um, the, the bad part about this is that since it is a GoFundMe page, it's not one of them that locks out the funds if yeah, you don't so get reach But they so are gets, actually doing that. Are they, 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 they announced have that, they announced that, that they are doing that now? They're pending an investigation uh-huh. of whether or not I use them right. But I think I think we have the video for well, what I Well, hold on. Like, no? Just a okay. second. It's like, it says right here, if you look at this tweet that we're showing everyone but not talking about, which we probably should. This it says, he's, he's standing on this picture, and he's got two cities in the background on the vista. It says, uh, the cities in the background are approximately 16 miles apart. Where is the curve? Please explain this. So could someone here explain... The physics of the cities not curving because it's funny because sixteen miles is not yeah, that it's far. Not it's really that not. Far. No, and so the also idea that he's thinking there should be like a big curve right there. You're, you're also yeah. did he only watch cartoon cities? You're also judging buildings that are not the same height or built on the yep. same uh, well, yeah, elevation. But, but if they're if they're straight up, they should be at alternate angles. If there's a noticeable curve, well, however, they, his premise is as Eric was getting at flawed because it's at a small enough uh, perspective relative to the entire it's not circumference. A, not a true sphere, but if there was a curve that was that was apparent at sixteen miles apart, we would be on a much, much, much smaller planet than we are. Thank you. Teddy has a really good point, actually. I really like what he has to say. He says, I think this is a good thing to do. It will actually make the youth interested in, in the science. And I, I actually kind of agree with you, Teddy. I think that wh- whatever comes from this, uh, hopefully... I mean, the worst case scenario is he doesn't actually use the money for satellites, but he says he does, and then he just like gets some mocked up images and says it's flat. Look at yeah. what he paid for, and it's flat. That's the worst case scenario. But if this actually does prompt... Uh, Maybe youth that would not have gotten into it, but they like Bob's music, and they're like, "Okay, I'm gonna, I, I, I want to find out the truth." You know, maybe that, you know, I think it really could. I will say help. everything that I've <clears throat> captured from him saying is not that he's saying the Earth is flat, but he's just telling someone to prove it to him. Like he's like, he's like, I'm dumb. I need some. He's help. like, prove, prove oh, to me that it's not flat. Basically, uh, anyway, that's how I took it. Hey, Rash yeah. Granger. Hey. Welcome to the chat. Click that heart for all the love. Mm-hmm. Uh, we thank you for joining us. All right, yeah, go ahead and roll that that f- video of of from Bob's campaign here. Uh, let's hear what he has to say. Maybe we'll hear what he has to say. I'd like to thank everybody who donated to the cause. Your contributions are greatly appreciated. However, I made a few alterations to the campaign by raising the original amount. <laughs> from 200,000 to a million because I feel like a lot of people have made a lot of valid um, suggestions. So I have come to the conclusion that instead of just sending one satellite or several satellites into space, I will be raising funds to try every available experiment and test, including but not limited to uh, weather balloons, drones, uh, blimps even, um, high altitude uh, balloons and whatever else, um, or any type of suggestion um, that anybody has. So, yeah. Gary so Pigeons. I'll be documenting this whole process and I'll keep everybody updated on this road to a million and how the funds will be used to, to research and come to a conclusion. Thank you all for participating. Fans. Participating. Uh, all right, Bob. 
Well, I, yeah. you know, in some ways, come a long way from Veggie Tales. You know, people people waste a lot of money on a lot of dumb things. So maybe if this somehow educates him, that would be. I think he's good. up to like three and a half thousand dollars. Three and a half hundred. Thirty five hundred. Oh, only thirty. That's it. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it would be it would actually be really <clears throat> cool if he took this, uh, and took the money and then like went to schools at, w- with science classes and had them like put a weather balloon up and he paid for it. And you know what I mean? Like he could turn this into pretty cool PR for him. Yeah, I just think he doesn't understand that like he, his perspective of the world is just like so intimate. It's just like it's this personal like right what I see in front of me, that's what I that's what it is. But and, that's like, the case with so many people. Yeah. Uh, I do want to jump in and say uh, thank you to Rash Granger. I, I hope we're saying that right. Thank you for the follow. Uh, much appreciated. Mm-hmm. I heard the dingy dingy lingy ling. ling. Ding. Uh, also, if you, you know, if you got that, uh, you got that uh, Amazon Prime, uh, throw it our way. <laughs> uh, so but I will say, yes, uh, the whole business of using satellites, you don't actually need to do that in order to prove the round Earth. Okay, because the the round Earth was was first deduced centuries before satellites were a thing mm-hmm. in uh, ancient Greece. I think it was Eratosthenes. What he did oh, was, guy. what he did was he looked down into a well in, I believe it was Alexandria. And he noticed that at right at noon, the sunlight went straight down. And then at the same time of day, an, a little bit later in, I forget where it was. But he looked down in the well, and the the shadow was at an angle. And he said, well, if it's flat, that shouldn't happen, because it should be hitting all those points equally. But if it's curved, uh, that's what we would expect. So he actually measured the angle of the shadows and was able to nearly perfectly calculate the r- diameter of the Earth. Oh, wow. Okay. That's yeah. That's actually like really interesting because it's circumference, not diameter. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's not going to work for but Bob. But if you knew the circumference, okay. you know, you I, could I think out the diameter. Yes. yes I, I think that if if anything, I I feel like I've learned something here, and in, in <clears throat> the the different process, I, Teddy swayed me over. Like I think that there can be some benefit to the fact that he's actually trying to, uh, like like you said, Eric, like he's he's trying to prove this, and it could could excite people about science and. What's there's nothing wrong with that. I, I mean, I don't think he's gonna go there. I don't know that he necessarily <laughs> will. Will I mean, I would just like to see him when he's proven wrong to admit it. That's that's what I want to see. And then, but I being like what I understand about rap culture and the pride that comes along with that, I have a pretty good idea of how he will respond to it if he is. He, but I just I don't know what. Why does he think that is? Money is going to go to the actual true science of it, and all the stuff we've done for all, a millennia is just bogus nonsense. Um, it's all conspiracy theory. Like I just, I don't. Yeah, know. that's the part that that is a little weird. But How do you throw I that think out? it's a pet project. Gives him something to do. He's bored. He has. Yeah. Well, if he had money, he wouldn't be having to go fund. Bored, games. Bob. Bored, Bob. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but he doesn't want to spend money his own money. Use other people's money. Speaking of idiots. No intelligence Does he know he's dumb? Seriously, seriously. Would want to embarrass yourself in front of fellow perverts. You don't deserve the air you breathe, buddy. buddy. Here's this week's nomination. Oh, you heard it right. Uh, last week we had three nominations. Uh, looks like Def Zaster came in at a 63% as the winner. Uh, this is the man from Florida who got roped into giving the sign language. I think I think we agreed though that it was the city that was. The you weren't floor. here, but we, yeah, I'm you just explaining the situation. You didn't agree on anything. So he got roped into like during the uh, Hurricane Irma, the 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 government pulled him in because he had a deaf friend or family member or something like deaf that. Deaf brother, yeah, deaf brother, and they thought he could. Uh, deliver it and he couldn't so really the 404 is on the state of florida for just rushing this poor guy on there yeah. um I, i'd heard after the fact though that he he did volunteer so it may not have been so much that they rushed him mm-hmm. they, they probably could have found somebody better but it sounded like he did volunteer a little bit so okay, okay either way well whatever he's still no i'm just kidding now he yeah. is the 404 now, well, somebody's it, dumb in the that situation. situation is the 404 
All right. First nomination of the week uh, comes from homatoday.com. Says couple arrested after recording themselves having sex in a library. A Homa couple was arrested today. Uh, that would have been September 14th after. Wait, we- a Homa couple? This is a man and a woman. H- ho- ho- Homa? Where is that in? Like I don't know. Mm. Some, Idaho or it's something? It's in a state in the Louisiana. Oh, mm. that makes sense. Louisiana. <laughs> wow. That Just was way to throw terrible. Louisiana under the bus, Jeremy. <laughs> That would have to be a big bus. Yeah, if anybody's yeah. coy to send in a library, it's probably Louisians. Yeah, they're Louis- Louisian villains. They're real lewd and loose. <laughs> um, Jeremy would know because he knows the <laughs> definition of that word. Uh, so this couple was arrested after recording themselves having sexual intercourse in a local library, authorities said. According to the police department, Elizabeth Jernigan, 33, and Rex Jernigan, 35, both of Palmasino or Palmasano Drive recorded themselves performing sexual acts on each other shortly after 9 a.m. in the public library and then uploaded the videos to a porn site. The couple had also recorded themselves having sex in various other businesses throughout uh, Terrebonne Parish, police said. <laughs> Super unfortunate name for this. Uh, investigators said You're several of the recordings were secured as evidence. The suspects were charged with six counts of obscenity and were transported to the Terrebonne Parish Jail. Where? Uh, well, I, 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 I don't know. What's it? What's the name of that place called? Terrebonne. Ter- Terrebonne Parish. What, what do you want, Kai? You want me uh, to talk more? No, about I was, it? I was uh, asking, trying to ask you without asking you if you were uh, getting the poll ready. Oh, I should probably do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good call. Uh, I, was try, I was trying to non-verbally. Can we, can we call this? One ter- <laughs> yeah, yeah, new Trevor. Ter- 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 Terraboner. Terraboner. <laughs> Sorry. I, th- I mean, it uh, might, I th- it I might have Terrebonne. It oh, would be sufficient. It's, it's, I mean, that's already the name. So, uh, we'll figure that out. All right, next nomination. Uh, did they give us anything in the chat? Uh, no, but Teddy no. said that this couple uh, apparently has a page on Pornhub. Oh, good for them. You know, good to see. Good to see. Uh, on actually, they both have their own individual pages. Oh, oh. that's great! Wow, they're, as- they're aspiring actors. Apparently, it's that's not aspiring. Nate- that would mean no. It, well, act- they're, I mean, they're, they're per- aspiring actors. Yeah, yeah that's true. Put down, probably, put down, Nathan. Are you saying that you did investigative journalism? I don't want to. It know sounded if fake, did. so uh, I dug into it. Next nomination oh. comes from BBC.com and says mountain rescue <laughs> plea after man's. Snowden climb in pants. <laughs> Jeremy, you photoshopped Jeremy, a mountain onto this man's nipple. Jeremy, it's the mountain he's on. Jeremy I, I covered, wanted to be covered know, this man's nips I wanted with to be safe a for large viewers. mound. I'm glad that you're worried about us getting banned from Twitch. Yeah, for showing I'm nips. trying to be. It's very thoughtful of you. <laughs> it's just a mountain on his chest. <laughs> it's the mountain on his That's chest. That's what he's showing off. This is a mountain. It's the mountain. Uh, people, let's see. Uh, Nathan French, it's, 19. His favorite restaurant is Single Peak. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he he took to the highest peak in England and Wales in his Superman underwear to raise money for charity, but a paramedic was called to meet the Liverpool student after his descent, uh, Phil Benno of North Wales Mountain Rescue Association said they were seeing more unprepared visitors. Mr. French of Halewood Myerside decided <laughs> to <French>. take... <laughs> this is a weird name. <laughs> it is a weird name. Uh, he decided to take on the challenge to raise money for a dementia charity after his grandmother developed the condition. He said he became unwell at the summit after completing the 1,085 meter or... 3,559 foot climb on the 9th of September and returned to the bottom on the Snowden Mountain Railway. I keep fit and I am healthy, but I was taken by surprise by how cold I got, he said. I was shaking uncontrollably and they covered me in tinfoil. On the train down, I started to feel real sick. I started going deaf and my eyesight started going funny. I started getting really emotional, so my dad, who was with me, decided to call an ambulance. The paramedic who checked or who met me checked me over and said I was growing early signs of hyperthermia, uh, not hyper hypothermia. Mm. The Welsh ambulance service confirmed it, responded to the call. We sent a paramedic 
in a rapid response vehicle, and the first responder and a man was checked over at the scene, but did not require hospital treatment. Um, so, yeah, this mountain uh, will really, really hypothermia you. Is that the sentence you want to stand by? I will stand by things I say, Nathan. Uh, okay. Teddy says naked and hypo. Uh, yeah, I I don't... Huh. I just... I mean, did he not understand how, like, temperatures and things work? Well, it you see, like... you see, it gets real hot at the top of volcanoes, so oh, yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine. And you're closer to the sun. That's yeah, fine. You're closer to the how sun. old is this guy? He's a teenager, 19. right? Yeah, so he just... He thinks he's invincible. Mm. Well... Physics th- don't apply to him. That's clearly obvious by the undies that he's wearing. Super yeah, we. He peed bad. sitting down as a child. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's 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 his mother to blame uh-huh. for that. Uh-huh. All right, this next nomination comes from <laughs> HollywoodReporter.com. It says movie screening canceled after backlash to director's plan to charge white men double. Let's see what this is all about. A Canadian film screening where white men were to be charged double at the box office has been canceled by the theater operator. Uh, Evan Roberts, president of Blue Bridge Theatre Society, which runs the Roxy Theater in Victoria, British Columbia, said Tuesday that he has canceled his facility rental agreement with Shiraz Higgins, the director of Building the Room, ahead of the planned Thursday night screening. Higgins stirred up a media storm last week after proposing that the Roxy charge white men more to see his documentary about stand-up comics. He initially wanted to charge white males $20 to attend the September 28th premiere, while women would pay $10 at the box office to spotlight the effects of income inequality. After the initial media uproar, Higgins lowered the price uh, to for white, cis, straight, able-bodied males to $15 with everyone else to pay 10 Roberts said his society does not believe in nor does it practice any form of prejudicial pricing structures as proposed by Mr. Higgins. Uh, Jeremy had an update that he wanted to well, share with us. Well, a few us. more bits that this story didn't have in it. Ooh, um, all the bits. Yeah. He, Soggy bits. He also um, created a pseudonym or a pseudo, is that pseudonym. a name, right, for him? Pseudonym. Mm-hmm. When he has a, okay. a fake name. You said it right the first okay, time. Okay, good. That's what I'm trying to I'm tell you. I'm just validating <laughs> that I, yeah. Anyway, uh, of, I think it was Ted Muhammad. Um, and uh, in order to like boost this whole thing and come to find out he's been known to do PR stunts in the past. Um, and so he came out um, actually just a, a couple days ago after he let this ride a few for a week or so because he actually like, like you had read, he changed the story and lowered the price and was like going back and forth with uh, with the media about this thing. And then he came out and basically said, uh, it, was a, it was a complete publicity stunt, guys. Um, I just did this because I thought it'd be funny. And uh, you guys all fed into it and thought it was real. Hmm. Um, so I don't know. He's just kidding. He's just kidding. He That's was just what, trying just to a get prank, more people bro. to watch his, to, to check out his movie. That's what everybody says when something backfires. That's that the, is but that's true. the thing though he's he's done things like this before. One of the other movies he did, he um he hired an actor. I forget. Um, oh, he hired an actor to be like a, a homosexual um who was w- working like in uh um not the girl the Boy Scouts or something like that, and then was getting interviewed and like totally made this huge publicity stunt over that as well and it was it was just an actor getting paid to do it all hmm. Hmm. so he's got a history of so he's trying a, to create sensation he's a provocateur yeah hmm. for for things that and they it's always been his way of trying to promote his his shows well i never would so. have heard of this if it wasn't for that so i do want to i do want to applaud jeremy on covering more nipples on this picture yeah you use cinema tickets I for do. movie name to cover up the naughty bits mm-hmm. uh i don't know what we're gonna call this one maybe um building the room the boring room boring the room but uh, build, teddy what do you mean first world building problem the buffoon Building, I, yeah. I think built. I think Teddy's implying that white men being charged twenty dollars is a first world problem. Yeah, yeah, that sounds that's, about that's right. That's what I got from that contextually. Okay, 
Yeah, I don't know. This this guy's a weirdo. It's, I mean, it's just a bad. It just I don't know. It just sounds like it was he was trying to make a statement, like intentional statement, and then and then it, it backfired. Wasn't, it wasn't that great a statement. So then yeah. he's like, uh, no, uh, just kidding. I just a joke, guys. I, didn't, I, didn't I think I think he it. could have played it both ways, right? Like Giggity. if this. Yeah, <laughs> if this works, it'll be good PR because people will be like, "Oh, he's doing that whole social justice thing," and then it backfired, and he's like, "Ah, just kidding, guys. Uh, see, uh, I'm a prankster." Ha ha. So silly. What a silly goose. All right, you can go vote in this poll right in a minute or so. I uh, go to twitter.com/slash/men in a tub, and uh, you know, you know, get get you, let your opinion be heard. Let the internet know who you think is the biggest. 404 yeah. failure of the week. Who's real bad? Who's bad? I turned into the Ghostbusters theme. Got something Got on your mind. your mind? I didn't know where I didn't to turn. Know where to turn. Send, us send us an email. Message, message or, call. or call. You got me up, man. That's right. You can call us at four seven five tub call. Uh, you got a mobile device. You can you can uh, type in those letters. If you the, transcribe the them into numbers, it's four seven five tub call. You can leave us a voicemail. Mm-hmm. Uh, do we get any voicemails this week? No voicemails. No voicemails. This week. Thanks a lot for that. Or you can email us at tubcast at minuteatub dot com, and we'll read your emails on air. Did and we we'll get discuss emails? them? We did not get any emails. God. So also, I mean, send us a message on Twitter or tweet Spend at us. 15 minutes after the show. Tonight. What are things that you Why really want to know minutes? about us? Why do they have to Whatever spend... it takes, you know, and he and wants them to have some really good thoughts. Prose something for us, you know? Yeah. I mean, you don't even Ask need to. You take like two seconds, two minutes yeah. at most. Like, Would you rather? I mean, you can just send us corrections. Did we get ask something us, wrong? Like, let us, us know. Like, yeah. did we, were we wrong about something we said and you want to Correct Tell us, us the here. terrible things. Let us that we've let done. us know that that story about kangaroos being loose in Wisconsin was just an April Fool's joke, or yeah. that that cannibal, the literal cannibal in the haunted house, wasn't actually eating children. Hmm, uh, yeah, whatever you want to correct, or that Star Citizen is a failure. Whatever works uh, for yeah. you. That's please. not correcting us. No, that's but, correcting Trevor, which yeah. is part of us, right? But well, that w- that would go on the loop, wouldn't it? Mm. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, but they yeah, can do I that, say, though, too. I say yeah. you can call, leave us a voicemail at 4 7. Hey, bing, bing, bing. I hear it a ding. Thank you very much for following us. I'm assuming that's Is that Hunt Bo. Hunt Bo. Thank you very much for following us. We really appreciate that. Uh, but you can leave us a voicemail at 475 Tub Call yeah. or email us at tubcast at minutinatub.com. Let your voice be heard, folks. That brings us to a very special time in this show. We always have this special time. You know, it's a very good moment for me and you where we acknowledge our Patreon peeps. These are the people that have subscribed to us on patreon.com slash minutinatub. At the $10 level or higher, that means they're a co-producer. They are locking arms with us. We are joining together as one to bring the tub nation to the internet we are a very small community but we are very strong in will and we love each other very much that's yes. why you guys give us a little little cash a little scratch on the side so we yeah. keep the lights on uh gives us the opportunity to do things like the lunch cast lunch cast and uh you know other stuff like yeah. make new to have new shows like the loop or uh you know go to comic-con and hopefully do more uh we can do all that stuff because of you uh, this also will will be something that I mean another thing that we do use some of our stuff for is stuff we've got money the, the, the yeah the the funds the things mm-hmm. we've got something coming up in just a little over a month extra life is it only a little over it's, a month I mean I'm there's is, only there's that only is another twenty four hours of pure joy yeah. You get 24 hours straight with us. Mm. I I think if someone were to spend the entire 24 hours with us, I don't know. Maybe I'll come up with something for that. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, that's the first weekend of November. Uh, we are going to be streaming for 24 hours starting up Friday night. Uh, probably, I don't know what time I for sure, 7 f- or 8 or 9 or something like that. Yeah, we'll start like Friday that. night and okay. go 24 hours. And be playing games all that time. We'll be doing VR. We'll be doing all kinds of yeah. crazy nonsense. We may, so, we hit our goal last year, so and please. we want to hit our goal this year. We got to get that all. That, that's on you know, my list of things to do is get that started. 
If you haven't uh, participated in that, you can also join our team if you want to then tell all of your friends, hey, come help yeah. these guys out. Yeah, and yeah. if you want to join the team and you want to do some streams yeah. uh, on your own while you're raising money with under men in a tub, that's that's awesome. Do it. Nathan, yep. what were you going to say? I was going to say, here's an idea for somebody who spends the entire 24 hours with us. Jeremy will e- Jeremy might email them pictures of all of us with mountains photoshopped over our nipples. There you go. Jeremy, that get on that. <laughs> that could happen. Uh, oh. So it's a very special. Yeah, that's it's going to be a it's going to be a fun time, so be sure to, that you l- keep on the lookout for that. We're going to we we're trying to plan some different things, but it'll it'll be a lot of men in a tub, so enjoy that. Uh, I think that about covers the housekeeping. Make sure you tune in. Next week on Wednesday, 9 p.m. for The Loop. And as always, Tubcast is 9 p.m. on Thursdays, Central Standard Time. Lunchcast, you can find that on Monday on patreon.com slash minutetub. Viaria every Tuesday, youtube.com slash minutetub. Go over there and subscribe. We're on Twitch on, Twitter. on Thursday and fr- or Wednesday and Thursday. Yes. Uh, Friday, we try to do game streams if we can. Uh, we might be streaming a raid Saturday, if we can do it, uh, we'll see. We might be streaming the raid. Yeah, any of you guys want to join? Let us know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and hopefully Saturday we see another Trev talk. I think he's due every two weeks on Saturday. He's supposed to release Trev talk. So tweet him. Make sure yes. he's doing his business. Um, Standing up. Yep. All right. Does that do it? Did we I do think it? we we done it. Okay, I think we did it. Okay, good. We, we did s- it. We got it. We got it's, it. Did it's in the it's in the, the voice can or what do we say can the canned it's, voice can speak? Yeah, it's, speak. That's, yeah, it's that's, in the can. That's we spoke into a can. Can speak. We talked. We talked. We talked into a can and then we're saving it's it. In the, it's in the books. And you can get it later. It's hey, in the iTunes. Brown eyes. Sorry, you missed a lot of the show, but we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll catch It'll you. It'll be next available time. Uh, later on, t- tonight, tomorrow morning, somewhere. Watch in there. on the, the internet yeah. later. It'll yeah. be there. Yeah. Uh, Hit us up on iTunes. Give us a review. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Come on. Why don't I hear the music, Kyle? It's, it's, cause it's the taking volume. forever. Why do you take so long? It offends me. I want to dance, and I want to dance now. Well, get your dance on. It's, too quiet. No one even dance. told Kuipers to dance yeah. tonight. Ugh. It's because Crazy Legs not here. Crazy wasn't here, yeah. Bye. Bye, guys.